Ethan Klein, a.k.a. H3H3, has really taken a dive into politics lately, much to the dismay of his fans, including me, and I will tell you how that's happening. It seems to me it started with these tweets he had replying to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Don't let the Russian bots convince you. This isn't something we should worry about when talking about the recent shootings. So I think it sort of started there. And normally I'd be like, okay, that's pretty funny. He's a funny guy. But now after reading the rest of what he's been saying, I kind of think he's maybe serious about the whole Russian bot thing. I mean, if you're into one portion of the the hysterical media claims, then you might be into the other ones, like Russian bot, as if it wasn't uh, the Democrats who were paying people, paying Russian bot farms, or if it, as if it wasn't only like $12,000 12, or whatever it was. We've been over this for two years. I don't think I can talk about Russian bots anymore. It's Facebook ads, it's just too tiresome. Anyways, the next one. To everyone telling me to stay out of politics, I have the same amount of political experience that the president did when he took office. And I think that what you mean to say is, you disagree with me political and I am too fragile to deal with. Not true, Ethan. Were you a high level donor to uh, political candidates with a lot of money? No. Did they come to you for money? No. Did you play golf with people in government and politics? Did you have to grease people up when you needed things approved? Did you open giant casinos and make connections with billionaires? Did they come to your clubs? Were they on your show? Did you go on their shows? No. So you're not as qualified. I'm not as qualified either. I'm sorry to tell you. Now there's a few tweets based on video games not being the cause of violence, and I agree with that. And I think most of his fans would too. They're, I would say that H3's fan base is generally pretty smart. But when it comes to people saying, please stop, it either means we don't go to you for political commentary or please stop, you're wrong. And in this case, I think both can be true. He's seemingly crack, cracking under the radical anti-Trump rhetoric. And that's not to say all Trump uh, criticism is wrong. Just like I said, the video game stuff, completely wrong. I don't think entertainment is to blame in things like this. While quoting Trump, he says, Sandy Hook wasn't a terrorist attack and a hate crime. Does anyone really buy this? Be a man for once in your life and just own up to own up and lead who is tired of this overgrown child playing the victim. So he's supposed to just own up to being blamed for a shooting, a mass shooting, and just stop and just accept that people are blaming you, even though we would never ask for that for anybody. And it leads me to believe he doesn't really know much about the shooting. I mean, the person themselves said that they don't blame Trump. They don't blame Trump. And they are basically a national soci socialist, which is literally a Nazi. And I guess if you believe Trump's a Nazi and the deep state are Nazis, and then you probably wouldn't agree with that. And then the Dayton shooting, he clearly doesn't know about that because that was the opposite end of the political sp spectrum. And we're not blaming Elizabeth Warren and um, Bernie Sanders. Then he says, don't get political. Why are you even on Twitter then? Get your fragile ass out of here. I want, I watch to escape politics. I've always discussed politics. I only hear from your weak ass when you disagree with me. First Amendment bitch, love it or leave it. Remember? Seems like Ethan doesn't like the backlash of his right-wing supporters. And keeping in mind that I would say at least 60, 40, maybe 70, 30 Twitter, uh, YouTube is conservative or at least not liberal. Not in the classic sense anyways. So in this case, I do agree with his fans. People who react so strongly like this are almost never right when it comes to politics. And I'm not surprised by his Andrew Yang support. The Yang gang, kind of like the Bernie bros of 2020. Better candidate, I'd take Yang over Bernie any day. But still, it's like the alt choice. You no, know, I'm not a mainstream Democrat. I go for the cooler guys, you know, the different ideas that can't really pan out. Free stuff, yada, yada, yada. I think that's why he's sort of like that. He's one of those guys who doesn't really know what he's talking about. So he's going to throw in his hat with the alt person that doesn't really piss people off when they say that they like them. And we all know somebody like this, when they feel so compelled by the news that they break and they just have to post a political tirade. It's never good, and it's always, oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't be silent anymore. I have to say something about this. I have to be heard. I have to do what's right. I have to do the right thing. And oh my god, I'm freaking out. Just like H3H3, when people don't like it, he says, no, it's not me, it's you. I'm not the problem. I'm not the one who's uninformed. It's you guys. You disagree with me. That's why you don't like me hearing hearing me talk about this. But people don't go to LeBron James for 
politics. That's why they don't like it. People don't go to Ethan Klein for politics. Ethan, they don't. That's not a bad thing. Michael Jordan was good at basketball, not baseball. You don't have to you don't have to do this. You're going to become the less politically inclined Philip DeFranco, who does a news show and doesn't get the nuance of the actual news. That's another story. Maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll go after him another time. But this is a bad decision. You're good at what you do. Do you want to become the, the guy who oversteps his bound and then just becomes pers a person who's way less popular? Maybe you do. Maybe you want to fan out those people who disagree with you on this. But to say that it's your fault that you don't like what you're watching, if you did this from the start, people wouldn't watch you. They wouldn't come to you for your, sorry to tell you, poorly developed opinions, in my opinion. And if you don't like that, Ethan, it's just because you disagree with me, okay? See how that makes sense? This is a bad decision, financially, uh, reputationally, and I disagree respectfully though, Ethan, and not because I can't handle it, it's because what you're doing is a cop-out.